Hello Divine Masculine and welcome to your power message for Friday, Fabulous Friday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in three decks of cards for you today. We're going to bring in the Lover Oracle. I really love this deck. I bought this from Amazon. I don't even know who it's by or where it's from, but I love it anyway. So we're going to bring in this deck and I am feeling some throat chakra healing going on within you today. So you may find that you're coughing, you may find that you have excess saliva in your mouth or even in your throat. You're needing to swallow more or even cough things out. So maybe you feel that way. Maybe you feel like something's gone down the wrong way or maybe you drink something, it goes down the wrong way. Something that makes you cough because it's clearing out the throat chakra to aid in communication. So let's see what we need to know. So we're going to bring in the Lover Oracle. I'm going to bring in the Sacred Destiny Oracle by Denise Lynn. And I'm going to bring in Divine Masculine Tarot and Ascension Journey by Mystic Moon. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know for the masculines today, please? What's the energy today coming in around the Divine Masculines on this fabulous Friday? What do we need to know? There we go. One card jumping out very powerfully there. What do we need to know? Look at that. Wow. And I've got a few cards sticking out in the middle of the deck as well. But I feel these are the main messages. These others are clarifying cards. I'm going to put them to one side. And with the Sacred Destiny Oracle, what do we need to know for the masculines today? Thank you, angels. What's the energy coming in? And I really love this deck as well because it connects with the energy of nature and what's going on in our, you know, outside world as well to connect with our inside world. So the energy coming in today, look at this, you're saying to your feminine, I can't let go of you. I can't let you go. No matter where I go or what I do, I can't let go of you. So you know that it's time to restore communication. And you also know that there's a lot changing in your life right now. You've got the tower. Everything is crumbling down, including the past, the way that you've done things in the past as well. You know, programming, condition of society, the way you've always done things is changing now because you want to do things a different way. So everything is crumbling down. So the tower is connected with a little bit of chaos. But you're also being reminded that everything happens for a reason, for growth and learning. So you're learning so much right now and it may be stressful for you. You know, you may think, I don't know what to do. And I feel you've been going through lots of tower moments between January and June. And I spoke about this as well. I spoke about how when the water rabbit came in at the end of, of January, it brought with it so much change and opportunity that if you were still holding on to things from the past or things that weren't serving you and not stepping into your personal power to make the changes you're guided to make, you were going to struggle, especially struggle with things like finances, things connected with your physical self. That's why you may have been going through physical symptoms. But what they are showing me in that card, you know, where it says tower, I'm seeing the word power. You may be seeing that too. So the tower becomes power. The tower moments lead to a power where you take back your power. So everything crumbles down to be built back up better. And that's the hope. So you've got the 17 energy, which is between January and July, you've been finding your way. So really what this is showing, I love when the cards follow on in this way because it's about stepping stones, but it's showing you everything is leading you where you're meant to be. And the tarot tells a story, you know, if you know about tarot, you'll remember it tells a story. So the chaos leads to the hope, the light at the end of the tunnel. You're finding your way once again. You're starting to see things clearly and understand in a new way. And your feminine's light is guiding you. And these cards came up, I think it was yesterday as well. Mirrored energy, remember time is fluid because things are changing. And between now and August where we are, you know, between January, I'm feeling this energy of the new year. You know, when we began 2023, you were able to face your fears and darkness. So what I'm actually feeling, look at this for powerful. First of all, we've got courage. So you're being given the courage in your life to face your fears and darkness. So I'm feeling between January and June, you've been gaining power. You've been finding your own way during July. And now you're ready to face your fears and darkness in this energy of August. So you've been gathering courage and strength and power since the new year started in, in January in 2023 to make changes. 
And all of those waves there, you know, the waves are a lot like the chaos card, the tower card, because the waves can cause destruction and they move things out of the way. So the way is being made for you to move forward. And Archangel Michael and Archangel Nathaniel are both around you today, giving you the power and strength you need to move forward and create the breakthroughs you deserve. So we've got clarifying cards here as well. So the message is the nine of cups. No one can satisfy me like you can. And that's what you're saying to your family. You're my dream come true. I can't let go of you because nobody else makes me feel the way you do. And I'm hungry for you. I'm not going to show you this card. It's a little bit naughty. But the ace of wands is about action. Okay, I'm hungry for you. So again, this energy of saliva in the mouth. Maybe again, the coughing feeling, they're giving me a headache as well, head pressure. So these are all things you're experiencing. But if you're feeling hunger, maybe you're feeling hungry today, you can't get enough of the food you're eating. No matter what you're eating, you've still got an appetite. So you've got an appetite for more today because really what their appetite is for is for the passion for your feminine. You're feeling all this passion and desire. And you're saying, I am ready for the next chapter. And you've been ready for this since 2021. But the ego may have held you back and you may have had things to sort out and things to change and do. Lessons to learn. But you're ready for the next chapter now. Seeing things in a higher way. Knowing that when you came to earth, there was a reason. So you're tapping in with your higher self more and realizing, wow, there is a reason I've come to earth. I am a being of love and light. I am a spiritual being having a human experience. There is a legacy I'm here to leave. There is a mission for me. I am seeing it in a higher way. And you're also taking responsibility for the past, the things you've done in the past, your past actions. If you've hurt your feminine or being cruel or said things you didn't mean, you've forgiven yourself for all of that because there's no point holding on to self-blame or judging yourself. And feminine's cross-watching, you know, your masculine has suffered enough. So forgive them. Forgive them and feel free. Because there's no place for judgment on this journey. The only place is for unconditional love. So masculine, you're saying to your feminine today, I'm ready for this next chapter where I take responsibility for the past. And I move on from the struggle of it and take back my power in it and move forward. You're ready for a new beginning. So you may see storms today or you could see waves because it's a sign of power. Stepping into your power, saying to your feminine, I need to do this right now. I need to make changes. I'm hungry for you. Everything in my life is changing and dissipating and crumbling so I can rebuild and find my way once again to you by facing my fears and darkness. So again, the energy of the moon bringing up emotion, the full moon brought up highs and lows, an energy of change, helping you to see things differently and knowing that no one can satisfy you like your twin. So trust in that, have faith in the power and trust in the love and that's what you need to know. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.